Hello and welcome to another weekly reset video. First up, this week is also the Iron Banner, and we've already gone over all the reroll possibilities for the weapons in a separate video. For the Nightfall this week, it's the Trader's Catch with Arcburn, Brawler, and Juggler. Careful in there, since pretty much everything does do arc damage in this strike. The weekly is the Winner's Run Strike with the Juggler modifier. Yay. For Prison of Elders 32, it's Valus Truareg with Juggler. 35, it's Urox with Solar Burn, and Skolas this week has the Brawler and Juggler modifiers. Let's move on over to Varric's inventory real quick. This week he has Helms. Hunters and Titans have Helms with Intellect Discipline Roll with Grenade Hits, Restore Melee Energy, more Super Energy from Non-Guardian Kills, and Hive Arbiter. Warlocks have the exact same thing as Hunters and Titans, except instead of Hive Arbiter, they have Cabal Arbiter. Varix is offering the fusion rifle this weekend. Surprise, surprise, it actually has good perks on it for an arc fusion rifle. I know, crazy, right? It has Mutineer, which has a chance of suppressing a fallen captain's abilities. Overall, this is a pretty solid fusion rifle, and the fact that its burn is also related to its final perk makes it one of the best weapons that Varix has sold to date. Now let's see what Brother Vance has. He has the gloves this week. Hunters have Discipline with Pulse Rifle Reload, Grenade Throw Distance, and Heavy Weapon Reloader, which is an interesting role overall. Titans have Strength with Hand Cannon Reload, Grenade Hits Restore Melee Energy, and Special Weapon Reloader. I'm glad to see Hand Cannon Reload finally on a pair of gloves, even if the stats are kinda weak. Warlocks have Intellect and Discipline with Auto Rifle Reload, Increased Melee Attack Speed, and Special Weapon Reload Speed. For the weapon, he has the Fusion Rifle. It's a really solid Fusion Rifle for PvP. They built it to be switched to and hip-fired, kind of like a legendary Plan C. I'll be keeping this one in my bank for if they ever decide to buff fusion rifles. Alright, so for Queen's Bounties this week, this should be a pretty quick and easy run this week. First off, go to Earth Patrol. Go to the left and wait in the Moth Yards for Greyor the Wolf Assassin to show up. Once he's dead, start to head to the Divide. On the way there, you should encounter the Queen Breaker Captain. Continuing into the Breach will lead you to the Tracer Shanks. They should be pretty easy to take out since, you know... They're shanks. Next stop is the moon. Since this one has you do the Archon Slayer mission, go ahead and load into that and kill the first wave of hive enemies. After that though, leave the area and go to the top of the Hellmouth so you can wait for Velenix the Ravenous. Once he's dead, go back down into the Hellmouth and kill Skorix the Archon Slayer. That way you don't have to load into the moon multiple times. After that, go to Venus Patrol and make a small trek to the Nexus starting area. In this first room is the Next Gen branch, and you should be able to find the Repeater Shanks off to the right in there. Like I said, it's a pretty easy week. So I hope you guys found some of this information helpful. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.